Hi friends, if you don't know me, my name is Nick. I am a full-time student, I'm 18 years old, and I am also a full-time seller on the Poshmark app. Today's video isn't going to be about Poshmark, it is going to be about ThreadUp. So we are going to box a ThreadUp Lux box together, or should I say um, unbox? I don't know, I already boxed it, but we're gonna take it out of the box and I'm gonna put it back in the box after this video. So a little background, if you don't know what ThreadUp is, it is a online consignment store platform where you mail in items and they process it and photograph it and sell it for you. They do have a tiered payout structure, which some people take time to get used to. Their payout structure starts at the bottom with items that are under $15 and you only get 5%, which is like a total rip. So I don't send them that stuff. And then it just gradually increases up to anything they sell over $300 for you. You get 90% of what the items sell for. Now Lux is a little bit different. It is their luxury consignment program made to compete with luxury sellers like Trade C and The Real Real. And Lux you have to apply for and be accepted into the program. And once you apply, you actually get mailed the labels and you can send in any size box with as much or as little as you want. They have a list of Lux brands. You don't have to only send in items on that list, only one, at least one per box. So a little background on me with ThreadUp. I have been on ThreadUp longer than I've been on Poshmark. I've actually been using ThreadUp since 2013. Um, and the payout structure was a lot different at that point in time. They used to pay like 50% for everything. They used to do all up front, all consignment. And I've been with them through all of these changes through all of the years. And a lot of people don't know that. So if anybody ever has questions about ThreadUp, you can hit me up because I probably know them because I have done a lot. I have sent over 100 kits and I have made five figures on ThreadUp. So before I just ramble on more, I am going to get into the box. So... I'm going to show you the labels as I go, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the brands and how I've done in the past with them on ThreadUp. So yeah, so here we go. The first item is this shimmery silk blouse. The brand is Armani Collection, but in Italian. And this brand in particular does amazing on ThreadUp. I can't give it away any other platform, but they have a way. They must have some lady that's just buying it all. Next item is this long sweater. It is Lucky brand. It is wool um, and Angora blend. It's an older label, but this stuff does really well and I really like the style, so I think that'll do good. They will probably price this, well, they'll probably price it at about $25. And one thing about ThreadUp is that they price their stuff low in my opinion, but you can go in and alter your prices. You have a full buffer day between when they process your box or bag or whatever and when the items go live on the site for you to adjust the price. And when you adjust the price, it actually adjusts on the scale the percentage you get as well. Next item are these Theory Bermuda shorts. Here's the label. Just the basic. I'll probably get between eight and $10 for those. This is a Cole Haan leather trim tote bag. It has the long strap in it. I've tried to sell this on Posh for a bajillion years and it didn't, so off it goes. The nice thing about Lux, too, is that they send you back anything they don't take for free. This is an Audrey Talbot just vest. I got it at the bin, so I paid nothing for it. It's wool. I probably get about five bucks for it. This is a New With Tags Talbot pinstripe blazer. Uh, it doesn't have the retail tag on it, but this is a style I didn't think would do super well on Poshmark for me, so off it goes. That's what I use ThreadUp for, apart from designers that I have a hard time selling. Stuff that just really doesn't fit my aesthetic or that I don't want to photograph, I'll just send a ThreadUp because they can deal with it and nothing's that valuable to me that I just I want the pain to do it. Like this. This is a Free People hoodie. It's like short sleeves, it has a hood. Use the tag. This doesn't really match my aesthetic. It's not really in style, um, so I will get the $3 that ThreadUp gives me for it. This is a pair of um, M. Missoni flip-flops. I've never tried anything like this to them, but I got these for almost free, so 
These are cool. So these are on the Lux list. So anything on the Lux list, if it sells for over $100, you get an additional 10% of the selling price. So these are Carmen Mark Valvo Collection Silk Wide Leg Pants. And I found that the silk wide leg pants um, do really well. And I think it's a style that's coming back. So people are looking for it. This is a pretty... Boss, Hugo Boss, another brand on their Lux list. Here's the label. Metallic, like A-line skirt. Super pretty, perfect for the season. Hugo Boss is another brand that I can't give away, but it does really well on Thread Up Lux. Speaking of, this is another Boss shirt. I'm not, I'm not sure if it'll show up, but this has a super cool, like, dragon print design. This is the orange label, which is their sport collection. Um... I, th I just really like that. I think that'll do okay. Oh lord. This is a dress. It is Ely Tahari. It is faux suede. Here is the little label. I don't know how well it's going to focus. It has this laser cut out detailing at the bottom. And I do okay on Poshmark with Ely Tahari. But on ThreadUp, I usually get about $100 for these dresses, which I could not even touch. So this is a good um, bolo brand. The brand is Paul Ka. Looks like that. I'm not sure if this is going to show up. It's P-A-U-L-E-K-A. -A. This is a micro tweed, like, asymmetric skirt. And believe it or not, this probably retailed for about $450. They're really known for their leather work, uh, but this is a good find. This was a good one. I'll probably get about $40 to $50 on thread up for that. This is just something I didn't want to put in my closet. It's just a Jealous Tomato skirt. Doesn't really match my vibe, but somebody will like it. These are a pair of Alice and Olivia, which is one of my personal favorite women's wear designers. Here's the label. It's a pair of floral capri length uh, skinny pants, which I think are super cute and that somebody will love. Here's another pair of those silk wide leg pants. It is again... Armani collection. These are actually new with tags. And if you didn't know how much this brand retails for, these are just basic silk pants. Nothing special. These retailed for $485. Um, I will probably end up getting between $80 and $100 for these on the website just because they sell so well. This is another really, really expensive retail brand that does well on ThreadUp. It is Acris Punto. Punto's their sport line. So it's slightly less expensive, but this skirt probably retailed for like $700. And this is exclusively for Saks Fifth Avenue. And if it's just Acris, that's the more expensive line. This is kind of neat because it has like a Velcro thing and it buttons and then you can open it up. This is my favorite thing I'm sending them right now. This, again, super expensive brand, also on their Lux list. It is Max Mara, and this is a, like, knee-length pencil A-line skirt with a super cool abstract print. Like, imagine this with just a plain black shirt and some heels. Oh my gosh, to die for. All right, this, again, expensive brand, St. John. This is St. John Sport. Um, this brand has, like, a bajillion variations of its label. There's St. John Sport, Just St. John, St. John Collection, St. John Couture, St. John Caviar, but not St. John's Bay. That is not this, not this. This is a silk printed blouse with this little peplum on the bottom. It has this little tie, really cute. Um, that'll do really good for summer. All right, this is another brand on their Lux list. This is Michelle. These guys are known for their watches, but apparently they make pants too, because I looked it up, same brand. Um, a clue to know that something is expensive, like nine-tenths of the time, is that they'll have this paper tag that looks like this. Often it will have like a hologram watermark if it's newer, but it'll have the size in all of the different conversions for the different countries. Um, and these are virgin wool. Um, they're like a slim leg, which is a good style. The really great for work. I'll do good with those. Another brand on the designer list. This is Escada. These are Escada Sport. They're silk lined wool pants. Escada also has the sport line and the regular line. 
the regular line being more expensive, these probably still retailed for about $400. These are a pair of new with tags, Love Moschino pants. They are like a jacquard floral skinny leg pant. They don't have the price on them, but they are a size 44, which is a US, I wanna say eight, yep, eight. This is what the label looks like. This is another brand that has levels, um, Moschino. So Love Moschino is the not super expensive version. Moschino Couture is, but it is one of my favorite designers for men's and women's wear. All right, this is just a Lululemon little athletic tank top. These don't do very well for me on Posh, but I always get about, they always sell for about 25 on ThreadUp which means I get about six bucks for them, which is fine. Another Hugo Boss piece. Here is the label. And the size is always underneath the label, so this is a size large. This is a cashmere turtleneck sweater. That'll do good. This, again, I think is Armani collection. Yes, it is. There's the label. It is a pleated silk dress. I'll probably get about $60 for that. This is one of my favorites, too. Now, this brand, it cannot move on Posh, and it used to not move on ThreadUp, but I've noticed that it does now a little bit. I'm really selective, but it is BCBG Max Azria. It is this super cool metallic silver dress with the short, like, dolman sleeves. It's buttoned down. That would be stunning piece for, like, a party. Like, if you want to show up and have the whole room look at you wear this dress. These are another pair of Alice and Olivia pants. Here's the label. They have lamb leather panels on the sides. They're like a legging with a cool zipper front. These are tiny. They're like a size zero or double zero, but they will still sell because they are so stinking cute. This is a Classiques NTA silk blouse. This brand is a workwear brand that I find does really good on ThreadUp. Just a basic. This is a, another BCBG Max Azria piece, it's just a white blouse. This is just a hat I got at the bins. It is Renee's New York City. It's wool, I don't know, I'll get a couple bucks, didn't cost me anything. This is a Calvin Klein white label. So this is just like the department store Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein also comes in like levels, there is like Calvin Klein jeans, which is the cheapy one. There's Calvin Klein white label, which is, I mean, not expensive, but not cheap. These retail in like the $100 to $150 range, and people love them as like career dresses. And then there's Calvin Klein collection, which is like runway. And then there's the one that Raph Simmons did that has the address of their Fifth Avenue store, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. If you see the, ad the Calvin Klein and then an address, that's the good one. But this is just a silk dress cranberry color really pretty it'll do well this is a hannah anderson like rugby striped shirt with a cool little twist collar this brand is famous for their kids clothes but they also sell like women's clothes to match the kids clothes so you can do like mommy daughter photo shoots i don't know it's really expensive retail i'll probably get like six or seven dollars for that these are just a pair of true religion jeans uh, they don't sell very well on Posh for me, but I just got these at the bins, so I think somebody will want them. This is the only pair of shoes I think I have in here. There's just these Donald J. Pliner printed peep toe wedges. Uh, they're size 6. Tip with shoes, if they have the leather sole like these do, it's usually more expensive. If you ever see this where it says Vero Cuscio on the bottom, that just means real leather in Italian. So that's not a brand. People try to put that as a brand. It's not the brand, but... These, I think, do okay. I didn't want to put them on posh because it's not really my style, but I think they will do good. This is another Classiques NTA piece. It is a tweed blazer with a raw hem edge. Really pretty yellow, perfect for summer, good for work. I'll probably put this for 50 and if it's something sells for $50, you get $20.40 for it. So that's probably what that's going to be. This is a women's coach blouse it is a plus size so just a size 18 and it's not a men's 18 i checked um just a cool kind of menswear tailored inspired 
uh, blouse in a nice light blue. Perfect to dress up for the summer. This is just a pretty cheapy thing. I got it at the outlet. It is just a new with tags, the limited cardigan. I just like rescuing new with tags, things that are going to get textile recycled at the bins um, and sending them to thread up. I'll probably only get like a dollar for this, but hey, as long as it finds a new home. We're getting there. These are a pair of rich and skinny wax coated denim with this cool like snake skin metallic pattern. Here's the label. This is a really expensive Nordstrom denim brand, size 28. I just don't do very well with colored denim on my posh, so off to thread up they go so they don't just sit in my house for an eternity. This is another brand that does well on thread up, Lafayette 148. This is just a textured polka dot blazer. Those probably retailed for like $400, but I'll probably get about 20 for it. This is an Emporio Armani beanie. I think it's men's, but we'll try it on thread up anyway. It's head sized, which means it's probably bougie. Here, uh, another Lux brand. I think it's Piazza Sempion, but I'm sorry if I didn't say that right. Just a black wool pencil skirt. And this is a Ralph Lauren, another one that has a hierarchy and I'll explain it in a minute. This is Ralph Lauren black label. There's a store tag in the way. And these are just a uh, straight leg wool dress pant. So Ralph Lauren, hang with me here for a second, starts at the bottom with chaps and that's at like JCPenney. And then there's Lauren Ralph Lauren, which is at like Macy's. Then there's just Ralph Lauren, like sport uh, and polo Ralph Lauren. And then there's like Ralph Lauren, nicer Ralph Lauren at like the normal person part of Neiman Marcus. And then you get into Ralph Lauren blue label and purple label, which are the next higher up. And then Ralph Lauren black label is the highest. This is what you would see on a runway along with the purple label. So these black pants probably retailed in the $500 range. So there are those. And then next, oh, we got another Ralph Lauren black label uh, blue shirt. This is kind of a Western style with real pearl buttons. And then this is a Dries Van Noten shirt. Looks like this. This is a really high end label. It's on there. Lux, this is just a t-shirt. It is not under there. This is just a stripey t-shirt. This, believe it or not, probably retail for like $350, $400. We're getting to the bottom. These are swimsuit bottoms by Sea Folly Australia. Um, this is sometimes sold at Anthropology. It is an Australian 14, which is a US 10. They're just cute. I don't do very well selling swim separates. I only do good selling sets. So, and I got them at the bins. Didn't cost me anything. They are new with the hygienic liner in them. This is D&G by Dolce & Gabbana. They are just some capris. Dolce & Gabbana is still canceled if you didn't know, but I'll make money off of them any day. This is along the lines of, I hate photographing maxi dresses. So we're just sending them the maxi dresses. This is a Lilka Anthropology mixed media maxi dress. Super cute, perfect for summer. I just can't photograph it. This is just an American Eagle mini skirt that I didn't mean to buy at the outlet, but somehow I did. So it's going to thread up. This is a uh, Eviva Girls Lululemon. Oh, uh, here's the logo. If you didn't know, looks like this. This is Lululemon. If you see it, it's just the kids version. Um, and. I had a hard time getting this to stay on a hanger and I gave up and it's going to thread up. This is another BCBG Max Asria blouse. It is a size small, has the cool ruffle neck. I usually get about $10 for these. And then we're down to our last two things. This is another pair of Alice and Olivia gray skinny jeans. And the last thing, but certainly not the least, is this beautiful Tadashi Shoji maxi like evening gown dress. This is an older label. It's a size small, it looks like this. Um, and this, the bodice of this is gorgeous. It has all these cutouts on a mannequin. It's super pretty. Got it at the bins and I'm not complaining. So that is what I'm sending in this box. I do catalog everything in a spreadsheet before I send it to them because Everybody makes mistakes and sometimes they do too. 
Um, I send it in these boxes. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it. They are the medium shipping box from Walmart. It cost me a dollar a piece. I usually go and buy it like 10 at a time. I send about one Thread Up Lux box, one to two a week, and they go to the variety of processing centers that they have. They have one in Manchestersburg, Pennsylvania, which I think is outside of either Philadelphia or Pittsburgh. They have one in Georgia. They have one in Phoenix, Arizona now. It used to be in California by their headquarters, but they moved to Phoenix. They have more, but I can't remember where they are now. Oh, and they have one in Vernon Hills, which is a suburb of Chicago, Illinois. That's the closest one to me, but it just depends on what warehouse needs it the most. And when they mail me the labels, it'll have one of those locations on it and it'll go there. Um, Lux, you get expedited processing. Sometimes it doesn't feel like that because sometimes it still takes what feels like an eternity for them to go through your stuff, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna give you a little more detail on what the process is like. When they send it, usually it takes about two weeks to process each individual bag. If you have the app, which I would recommend 100%, you'll actually see when they start and you'll see as they upload it, what they're taking and what they're pricing um, and the photos of the items. Eventually when they're done, you'll get an email that says, we've taken this many things, this many Lux items, this many not Lux items. This is the potential payout for everything before you edit it. And we were unable to take this blah, 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 many items. We're mailing them back to you free of charge and you get everything back. I have done amazing with Red Up Lux, especially since I've started using it heavily in the last seven months. Last August probably is when I started really hitting it hard. Um, and it's almost double my income since I absolutely love the platform. I know a lot of people have a lot of opinions on it, but I think if you use it strategically and correctly, it can be amazing. So if you have any questions about ThreadUp, any questions about Poshmark or me, feel free to leave a comment or follow me on Instagram at 18 and thrift. It means the world to me that you watched my video. Please hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world. Have a great rest of your week. Make lots of money, make lots of sales. And it's always a good time to talk to you guys.